even so better. to give you a taste of what Leo uh, Leo mirror match is gonna look like, it's gonna look like this is what you're gonna be seeing a lot. Without further ado, let's get into the map. All right, guys. So look, we're gonna go ahead and watch some crazy gameplay from Guilty Gear Strive. There was a big tournament that happened and a few killers came through. So we're gonna go ahead and break down and we're gonna give you guys some knowledge so you guys can implement it in your gameplay. But before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave a like, let me know how you guys feel about the video and let's jump into it right now. Yeah, these characters are definitely funny to watch. For many reasons. does get the roll and the incredible bait. But it's gonna be faded out with the Clone is up. Immediately dismantled by the 2K 2D. Yeah, that is going to be the back turn incident straight into the corner. Aaron they have all of the blaze boots. here, but it's going to be dismantled by Newman. They just blaze boots again with the Beyblade. Oh, I heard just dumb. absolutely dumb. showing his dominance. He's showing us why he deserves to be here tonight. The patented just command grab and command grab really showing the vampire prowess. Nice. The gold burst is actually going to get him off him. Hold your ground. Have the cast off. Meter position ground. that Newman Hammer doesn't want to see. No, this what? isn't a position number. Oh. Uh, as I said, our resources we have no focus, but nice we are going to get some bolts back there. Yeah, that's the wall slum. What is going Doesn't on, bro? Doesn't quite get the frame kill, and is now in the corner against oh my a God. hungry Nubenheimer. <laughs> what is happening? You know what's the problem with young players that play this game, bro? If they are not strong enough to slow the game down. So their whole objective is to go faster than the other opponent, and if they can't go faster than them, they kind of just fold. And you don't want to be always right here against a character that is just so fast. Like, it's crazy how fast Nago is. This dude is so fast, bro. It's gonna be so scary. I think one more mix is dead. Just gotta guess. Come on, why go for a throw? Again, that six frames over yeah, so much vulnerability on missed. the back dash. It's gonna show dividends. OTG. Oh my god. Ooh, that's the super coming out from Newbenheimer. That is this a hundred percent bar coming out from Aaron. Sorry, but Newbenheimer putting him straight back in the show. corner. Aaron is in a rough position here. This is a position mentally and oh my god. In, and that will be the round. That's yeah. gonna be the set. Even Newbenheimer takes it. That was bad. This whole this whole range over here, I really feel that a lot of people are just not comfortable playing here. They try to like force their way in, and it, and it, and it doesn't matter what character it is. Do you feel like Happy Cows carries a lot you know, of that, players? That, that a lot of people are picking fireball, them up. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think most, you're intimidating bro. When people try to tell me, and I and I and I say it to this day, and you know. I know everybody wants to be a hero, right? Everybody wants to be Superman, but when you see people be like, yo, I'm about to drop this character and pick a character, it's never characters like Anji, never characters like Kai. You know what characters they playing? Leo, Happy Chaos, all these characters. Why? Because they know that these characters are way more complete. All right, let's see which of these two will win in this set. Round start, let's see what'll happen. All right, there goes the yo-yo extremely early. Uh, you know, the 5H is so scary. Wow, tries to really get it off. Start off with that. Very, Crazy. very early rock the baby, but he does not check. That's a punch. Yeah, no, oh, I mean, he's so good as a defense. Once someone gets their chance, don't be lying to, to the world like go ham. Yeah, no, both of these characters. I'd be on to the foul players. Also, just have these such these long range normals. You know what I like about this matchup a little bit? I like this matchup a lot when they don't have me this range right here, and they have to hold their wall. This is why I like this matchup without meter because I feel like the moment the meter kind of goes away then we skip to my Lou here and then we skip to my Lou here here from the two hits of that close slash yeah give me that really lane lost that from Apology Man and, and now he's actually fouls. in trouble but he has six meters so skip to my Lou it's really good However, Benitez is nope he's gonna go in and now he's in trouble life lead. But both sides nice. could easily just off of one oh, good of the ups get the uh, low profile. Down. Really yeah. good crawl out there from Apology Man to get under that yo-yo. Oh no. Again, like you said, avoiding those grabs. Bomb is yeah, so, no, such a troll, bro. Item, item, uh, wheel or something. He can just nice day. Good conversion. Oh, oh the, the hit stop from, I think, from the, uh, yeah, no, I from the bomb actually messed item, things up. Uh, wheel or something. He can just shoot <laughs> That's a fifth bomb. Yeah. Again, has to play some tennis and is before Damn, bro. Man with his five feet. I would have been tight. And oh, another right command grab another again. JPP command grab. You're actually in trouble, bro. There you go. It's like we'll see the Good mix job. here. Again, Good again Good from the air dash. Go for the air throw. PRCs Good are coming you, out. PRCs keep you safe. And then we're gonna see a 
pretty good pickup, but again, Super Lane coming out here with the Burst to keep himself in this one. Items are flying. The Afro is out. We see yeah, Danger out here on the side of Super Noon. Well, what is going to be the play here? We need Bomb Tiger. Now, now you still Afro's on fire, and the regular throw that is what's going to take it. Bro. The worst two items to get. Yeah, I mean the Afro and then bomb right there too. So even though you you ran, you got the fro. I mean this is such an incredible the 16 missing. This is so bad for Apology Man. He's stuck in the corner. He has burst, but I don't know. Oh, he wants to keep the corner, but he didn't go for Yoda. Getting the back throw as well. You know what I think happened? I think he had two ideas. The burst coming out from the side of Super Noon is going to try and use the super to keep himself in this one. Now we see 50 meters on both sides from these players. What is gonna be that is gonna be the ultimate decision oh, here? Apology bad. man with the yeah, JD. What's gonna happen next? Hey. What the dust? Just the dust, the raw dust. Oh my god, the tab dust is what is gonna take it for that Apology really Man. I don't know if you guys agree with this, but I really feel that uh from our two players. That was Super good against Bridget. Yeah, no, I mean in my Super opinion. Noon. So we have Dende versus Apology Man. Lighting the afro on fire is instant dopamine, yo. <laughs> Look how they play. Look how they play the moment you got a flaming afro, dog. Look, the first thing they do, just start doing every move in the game. Man, command grab. Command grab without so brain dead with items. Because that shit is just risk free. You just do it. With the, the afro being exploded, the hundred ton weight is. You minions? Command grab. Why? Because you back dash, you have to block me. If you go Meteor, Command Grab. If you avoid the Command Grab, you have to block the Meteor. Aw, good punish here on the clone, on the clone deletion. There we go. Never seen that type of neutral. Up and Trumpet, you go. No, never mind. Deal with the Trumpets. The block. Oh, you did that with no Meteor? He lost. And that may just be it. It's how did they use the gun? Ha ha ha. Go. Oh, he's gonna pop! Oh, incredible blunders at 299. He is just so close, but is able to fight his way oh, back out. Get cool. himself just a bit more to work with. Another jump out. I think he was going too far. Though. What is going on? Yeah, Tempest knew that he just wanted, and the tab does. <laughs> Take it. He knew that Nubenheimer had Bro. only a few things that he was allowed to go with. What that worked out. Nubenheimer. Let's see. I'm so, let's see. Just so scary here. On the side of the oh, yeah. Covering his options to get with the PRC. We waited for the Tempest, Tempest comeback. Lesson. Lesson. Tempest is going to go to the hyperbolic time chamber, kill. never lose to Nago again. It so, to give you a taste of what Leo, uh, Leo Mirror Match is going to look like, it's going to look like. This is what you're gonna be seeing a lot. Without further ado, let's get into the map. Yeah, no, oh back, my god. Turn grab already, but that DB right coming that, out. Though. This match is going to be Carnage the double cross through. We're already Woo! Here. lots of DPs, lots of throws, lots of throws, as I said before. If it hit, yeah, you win. Well, you don't win, but you get like you know, 30, 40, 50 percent. Tempest, oh my hey, bro, I told you what the match is going to oh, be right. like. We this is a thing right here. Who was not afraid not to the sin that we play, but this is a sin. And can we see another one? Not quite. He tries to read the throw there. You know, this is insanely scrappy magic. Oh my god, the late hit. Insane conversion there from Tempest. That was Great awareness to get the PRC out in order to get him into a scenario. Okay. Another DP! Oh my god. Flash what kick. What is happening? Are we gonna see yet another the Can I get another flash kick for the one time? Do it here. Hey, I scramble as a cheese. Come on, Wants to make sure to secure this lead out. However, not gonna be able to Aaron picking up that conversion there. I feel there's like no there, there, there's not really much I can really talk aggressive. about in this match yeah, outside of two players trying to force their will on though, each other. You know, because again that offense from both of these characters from both these players are so scary here. Yeah, no, I mean, oh, the oh. back dash to dodge that 2S. Not quite I'm imagining it's super boring now because the game don't even work. Two so scary. And now it's going to get punished with the back throw. Throws the double, double cross. And the oh, DP no. is baited. Let's see if there's any bait. I'm surprised no, you didn't no, You're on oh the first. Tension is rising oh. in the venue. Tension is rising in the booth. Oh. The, stand, rising. the stands are going absolutely crazy. It's going to be one more nice guess here on the side of Tempest. 
Oh, no. He gets no, out no. successfully. Aaron does have that burst to fall back on. However, this is going to be a lot of damage Wait, and that was good. good recognition. This scenario is on the round start. This scenario is so scary, but again, has that burst to play? Whoa! Again. Oh, he can't get baited. Perfect okay. timing on the burst. Is it? Uh, oh, and he might. Oh my! And is Tempest gonna? He's gonna quit. What a set! We are watching Dominant. the infamous oh, Leo White fail in this battle. Exactly. Oh, right off the bat. That's why Nago 2 has his god like right here. Remember, you wanted to main Nago? Yep. I remember that I made a bad decision not to. I would say that would be the only mistake that I, I probably made. The biggest mistake in this game I made so was saying that. Able to get these All right, man, this character is darkness, bro. Do I don't think he's going to be this good. That one. I was trying to do something. Here. I was trying to play some different. Crap you know? is going to whiff on the side of Nubenheimer. Here comes Tempest. The patented Leo confirm. Not going to have any. I like playing characters that I think that have a lot of potential on things. You know? He got 100 meters so though, damage. almost. So this is actually Oki still even. Ground. And even though Nago does have almost full bar, and he let it rip. Yeah. Insane. I thought he wanted. Nope. Insane. <laughs> and he let it on that reversal super is what's going to put Nubenheimer. All that blood in back. What is a oh, he didn't block. Oh, he's got hard bait. Oh my God. Here it comes. All. All that blood to work with. Dash up. One more mix. It's what's going to take it. Nubenheimer goes. Who oh in our grand finals? Impatient, but guess what? And we're it gonna see the range. Oh. The problem is with Leo is Leo, even though his range right here is not bad, he's not a huge threat. So this is actually a pretty uh even matchup. Yeah, this is zone two, zone three. This is basically zone two and zone three of them playing it out. And this is more this is more stable in a lot of ways. As you see, though, as you were saying before, lots of long range normals are trying to do big old stops. You see, Nogger, you, you see how, like, even right here, chat, like, we can talk about it. See the potential that he has and he has a even though he, he didn't as get the see, attempt, though, as you were saying before, the thought process is what matters. Big... See, right there, how he tried whipping, and he also, he tried to come in and capitalize with a punish. Oh, this is incredible. I mean, this is corner pressure from Nubenheimer. This is not where you want to be. But also, Ramothal, you know, with so many different advantages in that, you know, burst, the half Woo! detention advantage. That hurt, you know, bro. What was that? From Nubenheimer. This is not where you want to be. That was also, also Ramothal, you know, with so many different advantages in that, you know, burst, the half Damn. detention advantage, not anymore using it for that YRC. Great with punish on the two A's there on the side of Tempest NYC. Here we go. What's the, what's the mix up? Strike throw. Rose gonna come out again with the strike. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of lockdown pressure here from Ram. Nice, and he's dead. Incredibly Keep juicy hit gonna out. go straight into the Calvados. Wow, I can go to bed knowing that this is gonna kill. Peacefully. But you see, guys, as you guys see as the match is played, wow. is played in the sim wow. equal range. The character, Both characters the character excel already uh, in oh, different I mean, positions hey, of the no, screen, was, was but you can at least play it out. Screen. You see? But now we know that the nice sword toss to keep this up safe. I, I respect blood. that. We've seen Nubenheimer go for some but crazy stuff, as we say there. Your sword is going to be taken. Go forward. Yeah. The, the, the Super. Oh my god. It's so good patient. Look at the stare down here. Get out of the corner. Yep. Nice. Whip one. Oh, I can't believe. And with respect at all the same time. Oh and no! Like this is gonna, gonna take it, and that's gonna be it. Nubenheimer gets it. Nubenheimer is your inaugural slashback champion with an incredible and almost scary three-one victory there over Tempest NYC. I hope all of this stuff helped you guys understand, like you know, decision making and how important it is to really think about the choices that you make in the mid range, just because how important it is, especially in this game, because you literally could die off anything. It's super important to really, really think about and reflect on all your choices. Whether if you feel at the moment that you could endure or not, it's always important to go back and like check on the things that um, that you did wrong. 